What's up guys? This is Aaron from Better Than Takeout. Um, today, I'm going to change it up a little bit and I'm going to prepare brisket. Everybody knows, you know, traditionally briskets are prepared on a smoker. But as you can see, I'm going to change it up and I'm going to put that bad boy in our crock pot today. So, what I've done is I bought a 50 pound brisket previously and I sectioned it up into threes and I seasoned them and I vacuum sealed them and put them in the freezer for a later date. So I'm down to my last one. I smoked the other two. I didn't put those on film, but I'm down to the last. And what I plan to do right now is to put this thing in the crock pot and make brisket tacos, whatever you like. You can slice it, dice it, however you prefer. So. As I prepare this, I want you guys just to watch and, you know, ride along with me and have fun with us. So just give me a minute and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. So what we're going to go on and do now is we're going to go on and get everything prepped up. You see, I got my brisket here, the vacuum sealed in the pack there. So I'm going to get this to cut. Now what I'm going to do now is grab my gloves here. Cause I'm gonna be grabbing that brisket. I'm gonna grab my gloves, good old handy. Gloves. So, boom. I'm grabbing my brisket there, guys. Alright, same way you would do on the smoker. I'm gonna put it that side up. Okay. And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one stick of butter. Pop that bad boy in there. Okay. Then I'm going to take approximately two cups of beef stock and pour that in there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some dehydrated onions here to just give it a little onion flavor into the halfway process and then I may add some raw onion. Okay. You can be as liberal as or as less as you like with these things. Um, just depending on how much sauce you want made at the end there. That's what I look forward to is that sauce at the end. It's a nice au jus sauce that you can put on French onion dip sandwiches. You can dip your bread. You can put it over rice. It's just a good versatile sauce that I like to use. My family likes as well. So what we got now is we've got our brisket in there, about four pounds. It's seasoned, pre-seasoned. We put around two cups of beef stock. We've used some dehydrated onions. And we put a stick of butter in there. So we're just going to turn on the crock pot low and let this thing cook low for about eight hours, you know, overnight. And then we'll check it when it gets good and tender. And also, to add to this, if you did want that smoky flavor, you can always go to your local store and pick up some liquid smoke if you do have it. I just didn't have any in my cupboard or I would have put some in. But this is what I'm cooking it today, guys. So, you know, this is just... A versatile way that you can cook brisket or anything beef related, uh, stock, uh, roast, uh, whatever have you in a, in a crock pot here. So when this thing is done, I will let you guys see how tender and let you smell it through the camera. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you when this thing is done. Peace. What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Better Take Out. I'm here to show you the conclusion of this brisket. So, let's summarize this. In the, previously, we put the brisket in the crock pot, put all our ingredients in the crock pot, and we set that crock pot to cook for eight hours, low and slow, overnight. We extended that time to 11 hours, so the house, the smell in the house was intoxicating all night, 
You wake you up out your sleep. So, here's the conclusion we got, guys. Our prepared brisket there. As you can see, it's in our homemade looking our jus here. And this thing is so tender. Look at that. Just tear it apart with a fork. You can just stir this up, the sauce, and this go great on baked potatoes, as I said. Any type of starch that you can think of, beans, rice. That sauce will go great over the top, and just generally it goes great to keep this meat good and moist while I was cooking. And it just, like I said, guys, it just turned out very good and very tender, as you can see. I'm tearing this apart with a fork, you know, and this is a brisket, guys. So, despite what you might, you know, conventional wisdom, oh, you smoke a brisket, Ooh, you know, yeah, you do. You can smoke a brisket, but you can also put it in a crock pot. You can also put it in an oven and get the same effect. But in the oven, you would have to do a little bit more maintenance and checking. So, we brought this out to enjoy with friends and family, guys. So, as you can see, the brisket is tender. It smells great. And I'm absolutely sure it's going to taste great. So... Just shred that bad boy up. You know, we're going to make tacos with this, as I alluded to previously. So, there you have it, guys. And we've got a pot of pinto beans here. Just, you know, simmering just to go with it. Keep it saucy there, you know. So, as I said, you know, why go to one of these fast food restaurants and, you know, waste your hard earned money when you can make brisket at home? out every single time guys so thanks for watching if you like this video subscribe and like leave comments please and see you guys next time peace